instrument that I'm holding in my hand is known as vernier caliper. This vernier caliper consists of two parts. One of which is stationary and the other one is movable. The stationary part of the vernier caliper is known as the main scale, while the movable part of the vernier caliper is known as the vernier scale. Just like the main scale, there are two jaws of vernier calipers. One of which is movable, which is joined with the vernier scale, and the other one is immovable, which is joined with the main scale. Today, we will check the reading of the of a, uh, we will check the area of a cross sectional. We will check the length of a cross sectional cylinder. First, we will fix the cylinder between the cylinder or the bullet between our jaws. We can take it out. First of all, we will check that which line of the main scale, which line of the vernier scale is on the left of the zero of main scale. We can see that first line of vernier scale is coinciding with 1.1. We can write 1.1 as our main scale reading. Now we will check that which line of vernier scale is coinciding with the upper scale of our main scale. We can see that the second, that the third line of our vernier scale is coinciding with the first line of upper scale of main scale. We can write. over here this is the division now as we know that the least count of vernier uh, of vernier calipers is 0 0.1 millimeter while in centimeter it will be 0 .0 0 0.0.1 0 0.01 centimeters now we will multiply our division with the least count. Which is 0 